gotten a lot of positive feedback, um, definitely a lot more than I expected. Dr. Jovita Overwari, or Dr. O as she is often referred to, is an oncologic breast surgeon who released her first book. It is called Black Girls in White Coats. In it, a total of 60 African-American female doctors, including herself, are highlighted for their work. I don't know that you ever overcome it. You just learn to deal with it. Again, because there are so many people that want to make you feel less than. Dr. O says she wanted to shine a spotlight on the struggles that she and many of her colleagues have faced over the years. But beyond that, it was a way to pay tribute to their love of medicine and to offer encouragement to the next generation. One, she needs to know that she's doing something very powerful. I go to Ponce Health Sciences University. It's her um, second year as a branch here in St. Louis. Um, right now I'm in their uh, Master's of Medical Science program, and they also have a four-year MD program that I am going to be applying for as well. I think that is probably one of the reasons why this book came into fruition, just uh, because I know that we are not visible, it's not a visible field. So it's not an easy field, it's hard. Lots of years of school and debt, etc. Originally from the East Coast, Dr. O came to St. Louis about 20 years ago. She currently works at SSM DePaul Hospital. Part of why I chose this field is that it's not a one and done like a lot of general surgery is. You know, general surgery, you do an appendectomy, you do a gallbladder, you take care of the patient, and you never see them again. With breast cancer, you continue to see them. You know, the minimum time uh, span that we see our cancer patients is five years. Dr. O, that's my doctor. She's my um, surgeon. I was the breast cancer survivor eight years now, and she was one of my surgeons. So when I saw it was her, I had to come out and support and get a book. I look at her as a mentor myself, even though I am a two-time survivor before the age of 40. And Dr. Avita was the first one who I met when I was diagnosed, so um, I have followed her ever since. She is doing an amazing job with black women, white women. She's just very personable, so that's what I really like about her. There are women who are going through a breast cancer uh, diagnosis and treatment, and we connect on the level of being women. and. I mean, you develop a rapport over that length of time because you get to share and celebrate their life milestones with them. Kids getting married, having grandbabies. Whether it is her colleagues, her patients, or those that she mentors, Dr. O seems to leave a lasting impression. She says it is because she lets other women know that they are seen, they are heard, and they matter.